tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. Good evening. Uh, tonight will be a, a different session for us. It's uh, love story time. Uh, we share some uh, Philippine business feng shui love stories that uh, uh, will make you learn some techniques on uh, uh, especially for the singles the singles again and uh, what not no? uh, for your love life no? okay so let's start with the the first story which hopefully you will learn a lot from uh, Let's call her the Bambang Lady. Yes, uh, uh, when I do Feng Shui, I do Feng Shui for all walks of life. No discrimination. Uh, it's a democratic country. So in one of my uh, tele-radio guestings, um, this uh, Bambang uh, sales lady, she sells ukai ukai, no? at the infamous Bangbang Market in uh, uh, downtown no? Manila. And she wanted uh, two things in her life uh, to improve her uh, uh, livelihood so she can be an independent woman and at the same time find the love of her life no? after having been a single mother committing a what she called a grave mistake in her younger years no so at the time uh, she was uh, raising a, a high school student already no uh, uh, daughter okay now uh, so let's start off with her story we began with her goal of becoming uh, self-independent so she was manning a stall for her sister, uh, selling, you know, um, um, secondhand clothes or pre-loved clothes imported from, uh, uh, what we call, ukay ukay, you know. And her dream was to have her own store. So eventually, uh, we went to her apartment to Feng Shui. Uh, aside from the business, uh, her house, because it has to be balanced, no? especially with her concern also for her uh, love life. No? So there were two things that were quite important to generate uh, income in a self-sufficient manner. Um, we functioned her store. It all it only required a few mirrors uh, by its doors. Of course, it was her sister, so the feng shui of the store followed her sister's uh, feng shui. Uh, she was the katiwala or the uh, storekeeper. No? And to improve her lot in life, we did her apartment. In her apartment, we placed a special feng shui painting uh, which she bought from uh, uh, Armita Manila, the Mabini artwork of Maria Cristina Pauls. Uh, this is a very critical feng shui device which even you, you can use for your personal goals if you want self-sufficiency in your income streams. No? She wanted to specialize only in uh, a new Swimwear, no, uh, bathing suits and bikinis, no? um, and new, no, not the ukay ukay ones. No? So because she said uh, uh, summer is coming up and there might be a big demand for uh, uh, swimwear, okay, uh, nationwide since people just buy uh, buy bulk and uh, redistribute this in the provinces, no. So we did Feng Shui a new store on top of her sisters and on the home front 
her love life was improving. And she said, oh, uh, I'm ready to uh, get uh, tied down again no? after being annulled in the first marriage. Uh, asked me, how can I attract marriage proposal? Okay, so I introduced her to this time another painting which is used in Chinese feng shui, which oftentimes you see in uh, Chinese homes, you know? especially in homes that uh, have uh, daughters that are ready to be married off. You know? uh, ang tawag dyan ng Chinese, mga palamunin, okay? <laughs> because uh, <laughs> the parents are sick and tired of feeding them as dependent. They want to marry them off so that they can have a life, okay? Uh, a happy uh, aging gracefully, so to speak, okay? So, she got another painting, placed it in her proper direction in the bedroom, the puny painting, and guess what? After uh, a year, no? she reported, when it was supposed to be maintenance time, uh, maintenance time again, uh, she reported that she topped sales in both stores for her sister and on her own she became a unique uh, uh, store in such that of all people uh, she was surprised uh, from Mindanao, Muslim Mindanao or Muslim sisters, wholesalers or ukay ukay redealers all over Mindanao flocked to her store and uh, purchased by bulk her swimwear. Uh, she didn't realize that beneath uh, their heavily clothed uh, costume, uh, they are fond of swimming. No? And they want to go to the beach also and enjoy. No? So the need for uh, proper swimwear. So she was tops and saving a lot. No? Uh, well, in the home front, she did get a marriage proposal from her uh, Canadian uh, boyfriend. And in uh, a few uh, months, uh, she calls me to, to bid me goodbye. Uh, she sold her store. She, develop an understudy for her sister's store and she was ready to migrate as her uh, boyfriend is coming to fetch her and marry her uh, in Canada bringing along her only daughter too okay so that's uh, how uh so you can stimulate and attract uh, love life for anybody. The third story is very amusing. It's about a 45 year old bank manager uh, in Manila who hails from uh, Bataan. You know? And together with her peers, who I happen to have Pung Sui, in one uh, uh, get together party, she asked me. Can you feng shui my love life? Uh, so that uh, since I've been single since birth, and honestly, at my age, I'm not getting any younger. I'm like the girl in the movie, the 47-year-old virgin. Okay? And I said, don't worry, be happy. Uh, it can be done. No? And uh, I can even demonstrate to you without going to your house just a simple feng shui makeover uh, you can make it and she said sure treat me as your guinea pig okay so right there over uh, wine and beer uh, we were having fun with her peers and I uh, Described to her how to have her hair, uh, since her lucky color was green, she was a mood element person, 
how to dye her hair with uh, modern technology, La Oriel, uh, using black green. Because uh, at least it will not be noticeable. Uh, she will not look punk or spunky or uh, too uh, uh, fashionable with uh, green hair. No? So her hair by day, by natural light, is still black. But there will be a certain angle when the light strikes it, it will have a highlight or a shimmer of green. Okay? And uh, at a prescribed period, when to have a haircut, when to have the hair dye, uh, she followed. Only to learn, around eight months later, when uh, I chance upon her friends, they told me, oh, weren't you invited? I said, where? Today is her wedding. Successful, you're feng shui with her and eventually will marry the boy next door. Oh, who's she? Why boy? Oh, he's still a young guy. Uh, you know, uh, around 10 years younger than me. But he's a carabao boy. <laughs> I said, what? Yeah, he owns several carabaos and uh, uh, he makes pastol every day to his uh, rice field. No, He's our neighbor. Apparently, he inherited the rice fields from his uh, uh, parents who died. No, He has around 10 hectares of rice field around us. Uh, we were neighbors. No, So, uh, the romance developed and she shared to me one secret said don't tell my uh, friends what you told me to have my hair dyed uh, with uh, black green was the one that caught his attention i said why he said it was rare for him to see a girl with hair like mine that uh when the sun strikes it, it looks like Dayami, you know, the grass that he feeds his carabaos, okay? And she was enchanted by it, and he started courting me, okay? And eventually, uh, they fell in love with each other, and uh, uh, she asked for a bank uh, reassignment to the nearest uh, uh, bank branch in Balanga, Bataan, where, to her surprise also, he was the prime client of that bank, being, uh, in a way, uh, filthy rich no? for being uh, single and uh, harvesting all his uh, rice fields all these years while remaining single. Okay, So that's where uh, our uh, third story ends. The bank manager and her carabao boy okay and it all if you take note uh started with using her lucky color especially as an accent color for her hair okay so that's one technique you know you can use color her lucky color to attract the right guy okay or the right uh, woman for that matter so the next story is uh about a couple who got reunited after decades of separation. Well, when they separated earlier, uh, they became best of friends, uh, such that uh, uh, sometimes they still drink together. And the worst part was after a, a drinking party, in their old house, uh, they forgot themselves being drunk and sired an, a youngest child. No, <laughs> although they were separated already. No? So, year in, year out, the husband is a very uh, avid feng shui aficionado and his career rose. No? from an uh, investment banker to uh, 
uh, the world's top global CFO for another decade, no? almost a decade. Successively, she won the awards for uh, uh, being CFO worldwide. Uh. Uh, he's Filipino. Okay. After around two decades, he said, you won't believe this, Pare. Uh, this time, uh, keep your schedule long for the day. Because we used to do only for his home, uh, where he was uh, staying uh, in a condo uh, as a single guy, no? bachelor again. No? This time, uh, I'll bring you to my uh, old home. And let's uh, go it. And uh, we fix it. Well, I said, what's your motive for doing this? He said, I just care for my uh, uh, kids. I want to assure them a, a bright future and also for my uh, ex-wife so as to be a Kung Sui guided properly. Uh, apparently, during that uh, session, we discovered that uh, the stove in the kitchen burns away the father. So I had it restored to the proper feng shui yeah. direction. Uh, he calls for feng shui maintenance. He was so eager, you'll be surprised. Um, actually, after that session, uh, we had a drinking uh, together with uh, his ex-wife. And out of the middle, <laughs> Out of the middle of the drinking session, around the third bottle, uh, the ex-wife popped me a question. How do you see us, our family, uh, in the future? Oh, she was surprised when my answer. I said, you'll get together again with all the feng shui that we're doing. Uh, uh, I explained to her. What happened in the past was due to a bad kitchen, burst the father away. Now we're restoring it. There's a big possibility they get together. And it's not for anything else. The purpose was uh, for the kids. And I told them the, it's not uncanny that uh, you get together again once you see your kids uh, growing up and you don't want them to suffer from the experience of a dysfunctional family, especially when they already have more, their kids are boys, no? So girlfriends, no? Uh, so no, no criticism or ostracism from the other side of uh, uh, future in-laws. And the next year, the guy tells me, "Pare, you will be surprised." But we came back together, okay. And uh, true to form, uh, I remember when I answered that they will be back together. The wife was so shocked. Instead of drinking from the wine glass, she chugged the whole bottle, bottles up, okay. <laughs> and now, this time, I, it was a happy get together. Even though she chugged the bottle, this time it was a celebration of uh, their family getting back together uh, all over again. Okay, so that's the story of the reunited couple. Uh, okay. To wind up a bit, uh, remember, make sure you don't don't burn your love life away. Uh, don't put your cooking appliances on the place of the father of the family or on the mother of uh, the family's location will burn away the mother or the father uh, naturally either by uh, attrition natural attrition or uh, even death no? okay uh, it can be uh, a mishap or uh, illness okay so be careful with your love life don't be careless in your kitchen feng shui okay next is how plants Especially now, plantitos and plantitas 
can affect your love life. Okay? Let me tell you the story of what I call the Bougainvillea girl. Okay? So, she is uh, an infamous uh, newscaster about to get married abroad with her colleague. But on the spur of the moment, on her marriage day, uh, she dumped the guy, no? uh, leading to a lot of uh, intrigues, rumors, especially from their now defunct uh, uh, mother station. No? So, after a while, going back to the Philippines, uh, our paths crossed as she was broadcasting again for a, a local station. And she wanted to try Feng Shui, out of curiosity only. So to my surprise, when we went to her their maternal home where she was staying, somewhere in Quezon City, their house was like a, a, a traditional Mexican house, but it was fully covered by Bougainvillea. No? All around the roof, uh, the sides, it was like, you know, your house uh, was wearing a Bob Marley wig of uh, Bougainvillea. I said, wow, uh, don't you know Bougainvillea, especially the ones they had on thorns, is full of envy and intrigue. And that was her love life, she described. Each time somebody who wanted to court her, uh, people around her would be envious and uh, intrigue her, even the, the guy courting, to the point that uh, no one, the, the pursuit no? or the courtship will not last. No? So she said, what's the Feng Shui remedy? So simple, common sense. You have to remove the Bougainvillea. No matter how you sentimental value it is, is uh, got married to uh, one of my bosses before, no, an oil man, an oil guy, no, vice president of uh, basic petroleum, no, and they live happily ever after, up to now. Okay, so that's how, uh, in a way, your environment, especially plants that attract envy and intrigue can affect your love life. No? So be careful also with what you plant. Okay? It can uh, uh, mean uh, being uh, an old maid or not. Okay? So that's our lesson from the Bougainvillea girl. A career executive. Uh, she was Canadian. She was uh, one of the leading uh, uh, ADB economies here from the headquarters in uh, ESA and one of her friends, a client of mine, an ADB consultant, referred me to her. Uh, her concern was uh, just like the others, she was single since birth and she was not getting any younger. She was about to retire from ADB and go back to her uh, homeland in Canada. But uh, she wants uh, uh, to experience at least what the, she calls love life. No? So I told her, okay, we place uh, uh, the proper cooking appliances again in her condo in Makati. But this time, she popped the same question. How fast do I get a man? Okay, so I said, if you want a fast turnaround uh, for Feng Shui to be plug and play, normally Feng Shui has a gestation of 90 days or 3 months before for it to fully take effect. No? But if you want immediate results, we have to plug in or put in an aquarium with an arowana. Okay? So it's like uh, your ATM uh, card. Uh, once you put the pin number, that's the aquarium, you can just 
uh, plug and play, no? Uh, the feng shui is working. So she did invest right away in a small uh, aquarium with Arwana, place it in her uh, condo, no? And she had trips uh, to Europe, attending conventions. And after around uh, three weeks, she calls, can you come over? Let's celebrate. I said, why? She said, I'll introduce you to my boyfriend. Wow. And when we got together in her uh, uh, condo with her uh, newfound boyfriend, who's an Australian mining engineer, uh, I told them, share me your love story. He said, of all silly love stories, she said, who, who would ever think I'll find love in an airport? So while waiting for her flight, she was seated beside him, unknown to each other, and suddenly he removes his boots. Being an Australian mining engineer, he was wearing boots and starts scratching his <laughs> soles from his socks. And his feet were smelly to the point that she complained to him. Okay, and he was a uh, gentleman enough to wear his boots again and apologize. And to her surprise, <laughs> when she boarded the plane and settled down to sit, they were seatmates and the long flight from uh, where they came from back to the Philippines became a whirlwind uh, uh, romantic courtship. And by the time they landed, they were already in a relationship. Okay, so that's how fast uh, love can come to your life if you're ready. Okay, the important thing is you're ready, no? Uh, and uh, eventually she retired. They now moved to Canada and live happily ever after. Okay? So I hope with these small nuggets of stories, you learn certain uh, uh, life applications and rules of Feng Shui when it comes to uh, your human well-being and energies that benefits you to your uh, even attracting the right person for your love life. Okay, who's this? Uh, Angie Abi. Uh, good eve, Master. May arwana ring po kayo kasi nakabili po ako sa inyo way back 2000. Ah, this you have to be forewarned. Magmula nun, I stopped uh, using a Rowana ring because of so many imitations in the market. No? Even now, it's available in Shopee or Lazada. These are poor imitation. And the side effect of using an imitation is I notice the statistic is like COVID. Maraming namamatayan. Namamatayan ng brother, namamatayan ng magulang, or loved one. Okay? So, masama po ang side effect. Uh, no. So, I don't sell anymore. Okay? And, uh, not imitations. No to imitations. Don't bother even to have one made for yourself. Because it's also an imitation. Okay? Uh, law of karma will catch up with you. Ernie Floor. Next. Good evening, Master. I am male rat 72. Okay? What is my lucky color and direction? Ah, you're a wood rat. So you also face west when working. Okay? And uh, uh, your foot should be to the west when sleeping. Okay? That's your lucky direction. And your color is green. Okay? Uh, nakakita ka na ba na green na daga? Okay. Well, use your imagination. Okay? Uh, next question.
wala na. Okay? So, we still have around uh, 10 minutes. Okay? Now, let's make use of this uh, uh, 10 minutes. Well, uh, I owe you one story. Uh, this story is about uh, uh, kulang. Kasi I, was, I promised you eight amazing stories in the previous session uh, of how Feng Shui works. This time, it's about uh, Philippine Airlines, the Feng Shui of Philippine Airlines, way back at the start of the millennium, year 2000. Okay? Uh, at that time, the airline needed $200 million rehab infusion. So when we did the Feng Shui, all the way, their Legaspi offices, from basement up to around 10th floor, we finished the Feng Shui in around the week. Uh, and as I mentioned uh, earlier, what the company simply needed was a simple painting of Maria Cristina Falls, of which uh, together with Sharon Tan, uh, the, uh, the daughter of Capitan then, uh, when we went out of Allied Building, there were Muslims selling exactly Mabini art with uh, Maria Cristina Falls. So we bought it for a song and had it placed in the chairman's office and eventually uh, 200 million infusion that time came in and Paul turned around in two years time and was out of the red fully in seven years time no? uh, and that's according to now the CFO of Cebu Pacific uh, Mr. Wang who used to be the CFO of PAL that time. Costa, Yana, Master, so Arowana Ring is a super no-no na po. Ah no, no. What I meant is if you still have the old Arowana Ring, the original, that's okay. No? Uh, but thereafter, after uh, I stopped selling, any imitation is uh, uh, prone to uh, negativities. No? By the mere act that is imitated, you violated certain intellectual privacy, uh, there's karma in it. Okay? So don't do that. Okay? Next question, please. No more questions. Okay, let me give you a preview of uh, next week and the coming weeks. Next week, we'll have a special guest, Mr. Rolly Pagaspas of Talk Shop Asia, as uh, they celebrate their anniversary. Well, uh, uh, it's my gesture of thanks to uh, Professor Rolly, no? uh, as he has been instrumental in connecting me to this uh, uh, big media productions and sharing with you uh, uh, secrets of Feng Shui uh, every Wednesday night, okay? And thereafter, let's proceed for more exciting uh, uh, stories, no? Forthcoming stories would be eight uh, stories of fertility, okay? One of the issues in Feng Shui is having a baby. Diba? Sabi nga nila, what is love without sex? Or what is sex without love? Or what is love and sex without a baby? Okay? Without a family. Okay? In Tagalog, baog. Okay? So, uh, let's uh, uh, discuss adventures in fertility issues in Feng Shui the week after. And after that, uh, let's go more exciting paranormal feng shui okay how uh, uh, ghost busting can be done in feng shui okay so at least uh, you can look forward to two sets of more exciting stories you can learn from no? stay tuned for the next episode only here on big media